Hello everyone, it's Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about the Easter event. Now the Easter event is gonna be happening from April 8th all the way until April 29th. Now that is still a couple days away from the posting of this video, but I've went ahead and done some time traveling so I can access this event, try and understand what's going on with it and then pass the information along to you guys. That way you know what to do and so you're prepared for this event. Now the event is actually a little bit grindy, but it does offer some really great rewards. Now if this video does help you at all, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and get into this. Now, if you head over to the crafting bench under the refined materials, you're gonna see a new thing that you can plant. It's called the vegetable seed. It's gonna take one excellent fruit, one wild spring egg, and 20 a dream light. Heading over to the furniture tab, if you scroll down, you're gonna see these new items here, the over easy chair, the don't put them all in one basket basket, the spring egg bounty, and the sunny side up arch. And we also get a new stall. This one is going to be the spring stall. Now, if you look at these requirements, there's actually three different types of eggs. It takes the wild spring eggs, the excellent fruit, and the spring vegetable. So when you first log on on April 8th, you're gonna notice that there are going to be some eggs that spawn around the map. So for instance, we have one right here. I can just go and pick that up. And these blue eggs are gonna be the most basic currency when it comes to this Easter event, which is the wild spring egg. It says these eggs are popping up all over the village. Keep searching and you're sure to find more. Now, I do say that they're all over the village, but I only see about one or two per biome at a time. And they're not just like completely scattered all over the place like I would hope for. This is going to take you quite a few days and quite a bit of grinding to be able to obtain enough of these to actually get the new item. Now, to get the other kind of egg, you are going to find these bushes right here, which you can harvest. And that's going to give you the little pink eggs, which are called the excellent fruit. And it says, who says eggs can't grow on bushes? Now, I have only found two of these bushes at a time. At first, it was just one and then a second one spawned. So I don't know if the more days that you go by, it's going to spawn more. But the way I find them is if you look on your map and you pretty much have all of your other bushes in one spot, this is going to be easier for you. Just look at these little indicators here. So like this has a little apple fruit on it. So I'm going to go over there. So that should be the other egg bush that I have. And it is. It's right over here. So I'm going to pick that up. Now, if you have unlocked the dream fruit, oh, we got super lucky here. So <laughs> if you can get these mini games, then you are really in luck because it's going to save you a lot of time. The spawn rate to get these bushes to respawn, like with more fruit, it does seem like it takes a while. Earlier, it took 15 minutes for it to respawn for me. And then another time it took me half of a day. I don't know if that's because I'm time traveling. So the spawns are a little messed up or if it's just a really short timer and then I had some delay, but you're just gonna have to keep checking back every little bit. I do think you'll get multiple spawns per day. So to find it easier, like I said, just look for the little Apple icon. Um, I've advanced my quest far enough that I actually have the uh, dream fruit over here tree. So that's what this apple is on here. But I've looked at all my other biomes and I only have those two bushes so far. You can pick them up and bring them to one location if you want, like back to your main area or by your house, which is probably a good idea. That way you can keep checking without having to run all over your village. So to get the blue egg, you just look, they're all over the valley. The other eggs you just get from here. And to get the third egg, we actually have to grow it. So we're gonna go back to the crafting bench. Once you get back to the crafting bench, you're gonna see this vegetable seed and it takes one of the pink eggs, which are from the bushes and one of the wild spring eggs, which are found just randomly throughout the map. And then it is gonna cost you some dream light. So you would go ahead and make however many that you can afford at the time. And then we are gonna go plant them. It doesn't seem like there's a benefit to certain biomes when you plant these. I believe it's the same time as all of the biomes. So just pick a biome and start planting it. I have a little garden right here so you guys can see it, but you would just plant it like normal. I would just go ahead and do a little bit like so, and then we're gonna plant it like you normally would. Let's plant two of those, and then you would water it. Now, if you don't wanna wait for this and you are in a super hurry, I would get the little elixir from the crafting bench and craft it up so you can instantly grow these things kinda like this, and then you can just go ahead and harvest it. So I got that one, and then I can go up here, and as you see, you only get one at a time. 
This is why it's super important that you get a buddy with you because this is grindy and if you have a buddy that's really efficient in gardening, this is going to go so much faster and then if you get those mini games, stop what you're doing and grab them as soon as you can. So let me go ahead and grab a Goofy really quick and I'll show you how many we get from harvesting that batch right there. Alright, I got my gardening buddy with me. Let's go ahead and harvest all of these and hopefully we'll get hit with that mini game. You want to make sure you pick up those extra ones that he's throwing down because like I said, this is just going to make your life a lot easier so you don't have to go and keep farming up those bushes to get the, the pink eggs and you don't have to keep going out looking for the blue eggs because the uh, items are actually pretty dang expensive. So let's go ahead and finish this up. We got a little mini game here. We want to stop what we're doing. We want to pick up all of those and then go back at it. Usually you get the little gold mini game and that's the best one because you can harvest a ton of those at one time. Goofy is obviously helping me out a ton right now, so I'm gonna pick up all of these. And this is just a way to get quite a few eggs. Obviously, your first run through, you're only gonna have one or two plants because it is a it does take a while to get enough. But once you get built up, you're gonna be able to farm a lot of these like it's nothing. Now, unfortunately, I do not know at the time on how long it actually takes to grow the eggs. It's not a very long time, and when I did do it without the elixir, I did have to water the plant two times. But if you look over in your collection, the eggs are not in the foraging category anywhere. And even in the ingredients tab, there's none of the new like Easter eggs. It doesn't tell you how long it takes to grow this stuff. So I do think it's like a decent amount, but it's nothing like a whole day or anything like that. So that's really good news. And uh, now that we have all of these eggs, we can go back to the crafting bench and start making our stuff. So we'll go over to the furniture tab. Let's scroll down. Let's start off with the over easy chair. It's gonna take five wild spring eggs and five excellent fruit. So this is the one from the bush. This one is just out there in the wild. We're gonna craft one of those. Got the over easy chair. Let's scroll back down. Don't put them all in one basket. It's gonna take 10 of the wild eggs, 10 of the ones that come from a bush and five of the ones that you have to actually grow. So we're gonna grab that really quick. Next, we got the spring egg bounty, 15 wild, 15 of the bush one, and 15 of the ones that we have to plant. So super expensive, and then 50 stone. So we got that one. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab the spring stall. It is 10 of the bush, 10 of the wild, and 10 of the ones you have to plant with 20 hardwood. And lastly, we're gonna pick up the sunny side up arch, which is 25 wild eggs, 25 of the bush ones, and 25 of the planting ones. Go ahead and craft that, and now we can place these new items down. Now, these are all part of the new spring quest line. If you don't know where to find that, go over to your Dreamlight tab, go down to village, and these ones with the egg shaped icon at the top, those are the spring ones. So I've already completed two. There are also these two right here. And I'm going to show you how to get those. So for the that's not where eggs come from, you just have to go around picking up the eggs and gathering the eggs from the bushes. You have to gather up 10 of those. I've already collected 100. So I'm going to grab that. And we just got the spring chocolate item, which we're going to place down. And then you have to do another 20 to get up to 30. I'm going to collect that. It gave us the blue spring rabbit. And then you have to collect 60 in total. So another 30. Let's collect that. We just got the pink spring rabbit. And then the last one, which is 100. So you have to get 100 eggs total. It's going to give you the yellow spring rabbit. So we have some extra companions from this. Next is the Wally Loves Flowers. I'm going to collect that. You need 50 of them. You get this decorative tulip bouquet. And you have to you have to have Wally following you. So go up there and have him follow you around. And then you don't give him 50 flowers. You have to go and pick 50 flowers. Just a little tip for this. Go inside a small room like a house, an extra room or something like that. Go to your inventory, get you a stack of flowers like this, hit drop. It's going to throw them all on the ground and then you can just go and pick them up and it's going to count towards your 50. So if you get a stack of 20, just do that a couple of times. Like I said, make sure Wally is in here with you. Make sure he's following you and you'll be able to get this quest done in less than a minute. Otherwise, you can just go around the valley picking up 50 flowers in case you need flowers. That's my, That might be what you want to do. But if you're in a rush, you're in a hurry, you got some busy day-to-day -day life things to do. You can just come on here and do that. It'll take one minute and that's how you get that decorative bouquet.
All right, now for the good stuff, let me place these things down. So I found the decorative tulip bouquet over here in the foliage category, and this is what it looks like. Let me zoom in. It'd be a nice little centerpiece for a table. Under the decor tab, you can get the sunny side up arch. You can get the don't put them all in one basket basket. Under the art category, you can get the spring egg bounty. And under the miscellaneous tab is where you can find the spring stall. And last but not least, go to the seating category and we're going to look for that little egg chair that we had, which is right here, the over easy egg chair. We're going to throw that down. And these are the little Easter event pieces. That's going to unlock this exceptional decorating you need four out of four we're going to collect that and that gave us a tulip lamp now the final spring event i actually don't know what it is it's this one right here which is the spring taste test and you have to create three brand new recipes that i don't know the recipes yet when i figure it out i will make a video on it so i'm unsure as to what that present is going to be but i'm sure it's going to be something pretty cool the excellent chair, you can actually sit on it. You're just sitting on an egg, which is pretty dang funny. We have uh, this big one here. We got the plants. We got the basket, which you can't interact with. There's a stall here you also can't uh, interact with. And then you have the little arch. And uh, I think these pieces are pretty dang cool. I got to say the little chair is probably my favorite one. Now let's take a look at our new companion. So I just put a companion house down and you can throw at least four of these in here. So we have the blue bunny, the pink bunny, and the yellow bunny. They are running around right here. Here's the yellow bunny. Look how cute he is. You can pet him even if he's not your companion. We have the little pink bunny right here, which is actually my companion. So let's go ahead and... Uh, take a look at him. Look how cute he is. He's so adorable. And there's the little blue guy. Look how adorable he is. I was not expecting to get more companions from the little spring event like challenges, but I think that's so awesome. I'm so excited for that. And the last thing that we received was the spring chocolate. It is an edible food item. I'm not going to eat it. I don't see another way to craft more. So I'm just going to go place it in my house somewhere. But that's what it looks like. It looks pretty dang cool as well. Other than these things, it seems like that is it. So you just have to go around and gather the eggs, gather the eggs from the bushes, make those plants, plant the little egg plants, and then it's going to unlock another egg. And then you use all three of those currency to craft these new items. And then make sure that you go and you collect your, your new things over here in the dream light, the village tab, make sure you do these quests. And uh, keep an eye out for this video right here where I'm making the uh, recipes and we'll see what that new item is. But that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to find out how to get this Dreamlight fruit tree here that you can actually harvest and make new recipes, check out the video on the screen here. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you all in the next one.